Susie, how you doing? All good. Rolling is clean right now. You no, came no. too clean, too clean. This is my city. Listen, too clean. Listen, this is my city. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen, just for all of the audience out there who, uh, who doesn't know, you know, we're talking about one of the preeminent African-American voices in politics who I've known for years, who's always getting on me because he always feels he knows more sports than the rest of us. I don't just talk politics, nah, Stephen A. on my show. Uh-huh. That's right. Try to talk politics and say, son, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't want to hurt your feelings. Right. That's, right. right. that's what I tell him to do every that's day. That's what I, was see, I, was, I had to deal with you when you were in Dallas. Oh, see, I, right. worked, I worked at KKDA yeah. Radio and KRLD in Dallas. And, that's and right. You were born and bred Houston. Born and, born and raised in Houston. Jack Gates High School. some lights off because you just had a Texas Longhorn sitting here. Uh-oh. I'm an Aggie. Oh, okay. So you know, we just spray this seat down. Oh, that's right. Houston, okay. Houston Yates, right? Jack Yates High School. And that's it right. has a basketball tradition, right? Ba- basketball and football. And who, who are some of the greats who came out of Yates? Oh, basketball. you talk about Johnny Bailey. You talk about Melvin Foster. I mean, you got guys going back. Uh, actually, they won a number of PVIL uh, state championships, right. Prairie Interscholastic League during uh, segregation. Not, so. Not, Unfortunately, those records are not kept the right. same as UIL, no. but again, we won titles then as well. You've wanted to come on this show for a long time. You reached out to me about that because you wanted to talk some sports. I want to. I'm giving you the platform right mm-hmm. here now. Mm-hmm. What's on your mind about sports? What's on first, your mind about this basketball stuff that you know so much? Okay, the first thing, Dwight Howard. Okay? okay, a lot of folks are talking about Dwight Howard possibly coming to the Rockets, and when I think about Dwight Howard, when I think about Dwight Howard, I really do think about the Wizard of Oz. The lion, the, the lion needed courage, he and the ten man needed heart. Dwight Howard needs both. I agree. Wow. That is. Tom, no, 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 follow is me that here. not disrespectful? No, 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 follow me is here. That, not follow me here. That, that was a soap opera in Orlando last year. Right. There's a soap opera in L.A. Who is the star of both soap operas? I understand that. So, so either you want to be the, if you want to get paid to be the man, be the man. Well, you were like, hold on. He wasn't going. He, he's not going to be the man in L.A. I, but, but my point is, when you want to operate as an elite ball player, you might have to change your game. Think about when Gail Goodrich, Elgin Baylor, Jerry West, and Will Chamberlain all played for the Lakers. That's right. That's four major egos. Think about when you had Magic, Kareem, Worthy, McAdoo. You had lots right. of egos there. Right. And so if you're Dwight, you need to rec- recognize if you want to win, yeah. you might have to make some adjustments. But here's my problem. So I don't get all the crying and, well, let me get it for you. Let me get it for you. You have a point. You're not wrong. I just think you're incomplete because you're putting all of the onus on him. I'm looking at the Lakers organization. I'm looking at their choice to bring in Mike D'Antoni instead of Phil Jackson. I agree. I'm looking at those things. Does that not factor in? That factors in, but it didn't factor in last year when he was in Orlando. All right. He had an opportunity to be the man in Orlando. And so that's why I'm I'm leery about him possibly coming to Houston because what is he going to complain about? James Harden and and Jeremy Lin? I'm I'm saying saying if you want to... You may have to make some adjustments in who you are. I just don't get the whining and the complaining, okay, that's fair, that's fair. all that sort of stuff. Fair. Man, get some courage and get a heart. As much as I hate to ask this question, I agree. I agree. He does. We still have to give him a little pass because he's just coming off back surgery, right. and he does have a torn labrum allegedly, and that's, right. that's what they I mean, tell us. Well, they I don't know. That's, that's, what, that's what they said. But that's what they, that's what they're reporting. There's no doubt about but it. But if you are hurt. Then you sit on the sidelines because you don't want you don't want to injure your team even further. Okay, so I disagree with this whole notion. You play through pain, get yourself completely healthy, but the whining has to stop. So if you say wait, so if you say you disagree, yeah, we're playing hurt. What did you think about Kobe's comments last week that? He should just figure out a way to play through it. Well, Kobe I, I, came out with that. I thought Kobe was wrong in that aspect because you do not sacrifice your career in terms of the short term. Kobe has a short-term vision. He wants to win now. Dwight has far more years to play than Kobe. And so I believe if you're hurt, you're actually hurting your team more by being on the court than being on the sideline. Yeah, but Get her, completely but her, healthy. And, and again, none of your points are, can be definitively refuted. Of course they, but they can. Well, well you should, I could, but I won't <laughs> do that to you. But the well, point is, no, 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 seriously, what I'm saying is this, though. Dwight Howard, struggling, hurt, etc. 
he averaged in 17 and 11. Gotcha. Andrew Bynum, his best year, the only year he was healthy in L.A., yeah. he averaged 18 and 11. So Dwight Howard's here, less than 75%, averaging 17 and 11. And by the way, his first seven years of his career, yeah. he missed seven games. And all of a sudden, we're bringing those things into question. I'm not saying Dwight Howard is perfect. You're absolutely right about what he needs to chill out with. But at the same time, he doesn't need to be condemned oh, the yes. way people have condemned him. All right, I'm not condemning him in terms of how he's not playing. I'm just simply saying he, it was whining last year. Oh, do I want to stay? Do I want to go? Here's the coach, what I want to do. And then you're hearing the same thing in L.A. Man, just shut up, heal, and come back and play ball. Well said. What I did condemn last night was what I heard via TNT that pregame Dwight was shooting half-court hook shots with his allegedly torn shoulder. I don't want to hear it, Stephen A. He doesn't take the game nearly as seriously as Kobe Bryant well, does. Yeah, that's true. I mean, there's no, there's no refuting that he doesn't take the game nearly as serious as Kobe He's Bryant. He's messing around but, but, pregame. But, but, but I'm just trying to say, figure out when are we going to reach a point where we're willing to look at the Lakers from their hierarchy, Jim Buss, oh, to Coach Mike D'Antoni and say they are equally as culpable oh. with this because this, of this, what they bring to the table. This franchise, first of all, being a Rockets fan, lifelong, I don't mind seeing the Lakers suffer this way because Lakers fans get on my last nerves. Why do so, we get on your nerves, Roland? Because, because, We've got nothing because, to you. Because, because see, Y'all, real fans show up when they lose and when they win. We show up all the time. I'm no, going to get don't. at you. We don't, no, they oh, don't. We're not fair weather. Yo, C-D-list stars show up when they oh lose. Oh, God, come on now. Come on now. It's you not know, all about stars you, you, in L.A., and you, you know that. Oh, stop it. I just think it's stop unfair it. that they show one or two stars, and you think that's all the Laker Nation. I that's been, not true. I've been to the game before. Because okay, you're a star, Get him, and Perry, you can like sit it. down low. No, no, it's no, no, not no. fair. I don't, it's sit, I don't sit down low. I don't sit down low. I was sitting in Magic's box. Oh, my bad. My bad. Well, you know that's not true. It's not fair to paint that broad bus. But again, no. There's nothing like slapping Lakers fans because they always talk about championships, championships. And so to see them in all we see, know is winning. To see Sorry. Them losing. You, you don't know winning right now. Yeah. I That's mean, why last, we're having a hard last time. Last I checked, you not if the playoffs started today, you we're, would be at home. We are not gonna make it. This is for sure. Go ahead, Skip. You are right. You are right. <laughs> okay, so you rockets. rockets. You're sitting in the eighth Texans, spot right now. Astros. How close you. are you rockets? To winning a Western Championship, Western Conference Championship. Uh, we need first. First of all, we need we need a we need a veteran ball pick. This is this is one of the youngest teams in the NBA. Yeah. Extremely young. Greg Smith. Patterson, all those guys. We need a veteran ball player. Jeremy Lin needs to go to the Gary Payton School of Shooting this summer. Mm -hmm. When Gary Payton was a great defensive ball player, couldn't hit a jump shot if he was standing in the ocean. Mm -hmm. Couldn't hit the water. That summer, Gary worked on his jump yeah. shot game. Yeah. Jeremy Lin's problem this year is wide open for three-pointers, not hit. What about his defense? Great driving to... How come he can't go to the Gary Payton School of Defense? Hold on. I, I want that too, but I, I need to get him a three-point shot first. His, his biggest strength, his biggest strength has been driving to to the basket. That's been his biggest strength. So if you're a defensive ball player, I'm going to let you have the jumper because you can't hit anything. And so that's one area I think he needs to improve so on. So how, how much go ahead, should go ahead. they overpay for Jeremy Lin? Uh, actually, that was a smart business deal. A lot of people don't realize Houston has a significant Asian population has a significant African-American population. So from a business standpoint, you look at when Yao Ming was here, the Rockets were able to make significant inroads internationally as a result of Yao Ming. Jeremy Lin comes here, it is, it is paid serious dividends in terms of the Asian community moving forward, embracing the Houston Rockets. So that was a smart let's, business deal. Let's, before I let you get on out of here, right now, as you look at and scour the NBA, who's the best player in the game? Best player in the game right now? Oh, LeBron James. Right now, best player yeah, no, in the game. No, no, no refuting best that right now. Right no now. refuting well, that right now. D-Wade is my boy. You want to see LeBron but in the dunk line contest? Line is, huh? You want to see LeBron in the dunk contest? No, you know what? I believe, let me say this right now. LeBron is a game dunker. He's a game dunker. I, I'm not necessarily sure LeBron is a creative dunker for a dunk contest. Okay. Okay. You know he is a pre-game dunker. He puts on a show <laughs> every fun. night. No, no, with, no. With his... I mean, like, Terrence Stansberry was a dunk contest yeah. dunker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Couldn't dunk in a game. Okay. Yes. Okay. Here's a flip side to it. Okay. A, because the real question, because of this man getting on my nerves with this, he actually okay. sits there and questions. He says LeBron is afraid. Oh, stop it. Thank oh, you. Oh, stop it. Thank okay. you. Okay. Afraid of oh, a dunk contest. There's two things I hate. Wait a second. There's two things I hate. I hate the Dallas, I hate the Dallas Cowboys. He's 
afraid. not afraid. I mean, he's simply saying, like, man, I want to play in that game. You know what Roland's problem is? Yeah. He wants to be Stephen A. Smith. Oh, oh, That's no. what he wants to be. He doesn't need to be. He's his own man. Yeah. He's, yeah. Like a he's his own man. A okay. just, I'm talking to two oh, Stephen oh, A's. Now, just because we call you out on nonsense... Nonsense. <laughs> Nonsense. That's oh, exactly really? what it is. Oh, he's LeBron not has dunked the dunk contest for 10 years, and you don't he's think he's scared, afraid, afraid of the afraid pressure? Afraid of a dunk no, contest? No, I'll tell oh, you who's scared. On. You scared to go one-on-one -on -one with me when he's not here. in Oklahoma City last night, that's what would happen to you if skip, you were not skip, there to bodyguard. Skip, 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 seriously, skip, skip, seriously. Let me be real clear. Mm -hmm. I will beat you like you stole something. I'm going to let you know. I mean, Skip, uh, uh, Steve is yeah. my guy. I've been watching you. I read you know what I would steal? Let me speak, let me speak. Let me speak. I, wait, wait, I would steal his heart, his mind, his soul. I'd steal it all before let me, he was gone. Let me go ask yeah. hold on, hold on. people. You're going to go ask a bunch of cats on CNN who tried that and saw what Hold happened. on, hold on, hold on. Adam. Calm down. The one yeah. thing I would, it would be very interesting to watch, but I will give my man Skip credit, credit for this. I'm the one who debates nobody but him. He'll debate anybody. <laughs> so I ain't going to accuse him of being scared of you now. He's afraid that of I won't, That I won't do. That I won't do. It would be interesting. But then again, forgive me. I'm not worried about uh, Nobody's me. <laughs> anyway, it's all good. Roland, we appreciate you being here. Enjoyed it. And uh, y'all need to have Ascot Day on, on uh, first yes, day. Yes, that's right. Well, they do the Ascot. You got to let everybody know. know what that is. What oh, no, is this, that, darling? This, this little Shibori pocket square. A little, shibori. A Shibori, you know, okay. a little, little you know rib. That's, it's called texture. texture. I, I think that's Texas Longhorn Orange you got No, actually, no, baby. Right. Actually, yeah. actually, oh, actually, oh, actually oh, it's not. It's more Tennessee Orange. See, don't go there now. Don't go there now. Hold on. Wait, wait. Kappa Alpha Psi Red, being Omega, being Alpha Man. Do me a we'll, favor, we'll gentlemen. That. Before we get out of here, let's show some love and have you guys shake some hands. Would that be okay? Pound. 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 I appreciate it. Come on, I appreciate get, get it. Right. Hold one on. more. Let's show about Texas A&M Ring. Oh, pound. pound. One more time. Pound. Okay. 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 Everybody, give it up for Roland. I was going to actually shake your hand, too, no, but one no, more time. Roland Martin. Roland Martin. Everybody out.